how to handle drop down list using the select class so i'll create a class file inside the same package called it as using select class call the main method out here and i'm going to run the same code with the same url going to add the throws clause to handle the interrupted exceptions out here fine so let's speak about the select class so if you go back to my presentation out here the select class is basically a class generally made to actually work with drop down list it's an inbuilt class present in selenium web driver api it is required for the purpose of handling drop down specifically it has been made for drop down select class actually models the select tag the select tag is the html tag used to create the drop down list so the select class it actually models the select tag providing helper methods to select and deselect options select is a class which is provided by selenium to perform multiple operations on drop down object and multiple select object this class can be found under the selenium's support.ui.select package now let's go to our chrome and uh, try to show you the select class present in the java document of selenium web driver script or selenium web driver api sorry so i need to use and go to www.seleniumhq.org spelling mistake excuse me so i need to go to download and go to the java docs for the java language bindings so if i just scroll down i will be able to see the select class out here this is the one so it's an inbuilt class of java specifically this class implements the interface called iselect and it's a public class which extends the object superclass and implements the iselect interface this is the constructor of the select class and these are the methods you can deselect all the options so you have nowadays drop down list where you can choose more than one option present in the drop down list so you want to deselect all the options you can use this particular method deselect by index number so you can deselect an option by the index number deselect an option by using by the value of it now i have shown you that the option tag is basically an html tag used to create options in the drop down list the option tag along with the option tag you will see an attribute called the value okay now i've shown you the value attribute out here the option tag is this the value attribute is this so you can actually you know deselect by the value of it and for example in this particular html script the value of english united kingdom the values value is en hyphen gb so by this particular value which i am highlighting right now you can deselect english united kingdom if we have an option like that in a specific drop down list then you have deselect by visible text visible text means this is called the visible text so this is called the visible text so deselect by the visible text an option and then you have other methods like you get all selected options get first selected option get option is multiple method select by index you can select an option by the index number where you have to pass in an argument of the uh, index which is nothing but the integer parameter select by value where you have pass on the string parameter and what is the value the value is nothing but this is the value so let's say i want to select great britain or let's say i want to select dash this is the value that i need to give if i use this particular method called select by value select by visible text this can be used if i want to select an option by the visible text now for example the visible text for doish is this so i have to basically use this particular value as a value to be passed on as an argument of the select by value method and the argument will be of string type so right now we are going to use the select class in order to work with drop down list please ensure that whenever you are using or making use of drop down list you are trying to create scripts with drop down list use the select class instead of the way that i have shown you earlier 
so what i need to do is that first of all i need to get the x path of this particular drop down this is the x path copy it and my intention is to use the select class and want to change from default language that is english <coughs> united states to let's say espanol that is spanish language <coughs> sorry excuse me i have a bad cold so for that i need to use the driver dot find element method by the x path and the x path expression is this which i've copied from the firebug instead of the star i can use the select tag and what i need to use okay and terminate it the return type of find find element is a web element you can see that so return type will put as a web element out here we will call this as a w1 and this has to be imported now why i am putting a web element because if you go to the select class the constructor of the select class will be nothing but passing of the web element interface inside it so that is the argument of the select class so that means the constructor of the select class ensures that we use the web element inside as a constructor of the select class so that is why i have created the web element out here and then i can use the select class and create a object of the select class select s is equal to new select and I need to import the select class from selenium that support dot ui package you can see that and it still requires an argument the argument will be nothing but the constructor of the select class that is i have to pass on w1 which is nothing but the web element okay and then it's better to give a thread dot sleep method and now i can use the methods of the select class so s dot you want to select what select by value so i want to select by value the argument will be of string type if i using the method called select by value then i have to go out here i need to change to espanol so go to the option tag where you have espanol as the text Spanish, so I will use this espanol, not this espanol which is used in Latin America. So the value is ES. So I'll copy the value and I will go back to my script and write down ES. That's all. Now I'll close the extra browser. Now I'll try to run this and check that is it changing the default value from English United States. To espanol used in Spain not in Latin America so let's run this right now it is English United States So it has changed to espanol you can see that spanish and the language has also changed so if you are using the select class you can see that i don't have to use the keys enumerated separately like i i use i did it without using the select class so in when you use the select class it automatically changes the language of the page also you can see that that's a major advantage of select class the number of codes becomes less okay now from espanol 
I need to change to some other language. So I will use first the thread dot sleep method. And then I would like to change from espanol to, for example, from English, from Spanish used in Spain to let's say Afrikaans language. So if I want to change to Africans from, you know, Spanish, what I need to do is check what is the value of Africans AFs. So I will not use the select by value method. I will use the select by text method. So what I need to do is that I need to go back to my script and uh, directly used s dot select by visible text and the visible text is the text that you see out here Afrikaans choose the whole text including the empty spaces before the letter a and after the letter s at the last so I'm just gonna copy this part copy and go to the script and paste and close the browser and run the class file again you have to save it as a utf8 format and run the particular class file so from default united states is going to change to espanol used in span spain and then from spain lang spanish language is going to change to afrikaans language so it is right now English United States. You can see that that is the default language. It should change to Sp Spanish language right now after some time. It changed to Spanish. After that, it should change to Afrikaans. The page has also changed to Spanish right now. So let's go back to the script. The script is showing me that there is a still element exception. Obviously, element not found in the cache. Perhaps the page has changed since it was looked up. So obviously, what is going to happen is that you have created the web element where we have created this web element in the page which had the default language of English United States. Then you have changed the page to Espanol. The page changes the web element cache memory and the select cache memory gets lost. So when you move back to Africans, when you want to move towards African, since the web element and the select cache memory has got lost, it is showing you stale element exception. So what do you need to do? Just recreate the cache memory again. So select this line, copy it and paste it before you move towards African. and also create a cache for the select and this is going to actually take care of recreating the cache memory for web element and the select class object and it is going to move towards africans from your spanish language save this class file and run it once more So right, is, right now it is English United States. It should change to Deutsch, sorry, Spanish. That is where the cache memory gets lost for the web element and the select class object. Since the recreation has happened, it should now move to Afrikaans. Still not moving. So we'll see what is the problem. No such element exception. That means it is not able to find out 
the text Afrikaans. Cannot locate the text called Afrikaans. So what I need to do is that let's try to give a thread dot sleep method out here after the recreation of the cache memory. So thread dot sleep and I can give a five seconds delay and close the browser and run the code again. Excuse me. So it has gone to English United States, that is the default language. It should change to Espanol right now. And after that, it should change to Africans now. Still not change. It is still showing me no such element exception. So let's see what is the problem. So let's check out the problem. Uh, instead of using Africans with these spaces, just use Africans like this. Select by the visible text. So save the class file, close the browser and again try to run it. These kind of difficulties you will face in and you should know how to rectify these kind of difficulties in the real time scenario. And that is why I'm showing you all these difficulties. English United States should change to now Spanish. Change. Now what about Africans? Let us see that. It is still running. So we'll wait for the stuff to finish or the script to finish execution. And I'm seeing the same console result. That is no such element. Are able to locate with the text out here. So instead of the text, uh, what we can do is we can go back to my HTML script and we can use this select by index number or by the value. Why is value is AF. So let's change it from visible text to select by value. And the value is AF. So let's see it is changing to Africans or not by using the value attributes value so let's close the browser and run it right now it is English United States the default language which should change to Espanol done and then it should change to Africans yeah so <clears throat> the select by value method is working it has changed to African the language of the page has also changed that means a quick recommendation and a quick look at the methods Try to use the select by value method instead of using the select by text method. Sometimes the select by text method does not work. So try to avoid it unless it is necessary. Now we can also use uh, instead of using the select by value method, we can also use another method called the s dot select by index. Excuse me. Now how do I know index? Indexing starts with zero. So obviously this is the first option. That is Africans is the first option right now. So it will have index number 0. This will have index number 1. This will have index number 2. This will have index number 3. This will have index number 4. This will have index number 5 and so on. So if I want to choose Africans from Spanish language, the index of Africans will be 0. So let's see if I give 0. Is it changing to Africans or not? Save the class file and run it once more. Right now it is English United States. We 
it has changed to espanol and the page has also changed to spanish language and by index is also working so it has the index number for africans is zero so that is what it has chosen africans being chosen and the language also changes to africans so that means the select by index is also working fine and that is how we should use the select class as far as drop down is concerned so a very very important advice always use the select class to work with drop down list